uh, we, we bring on the live tonight to go a little more in depth with Trevor says and the journey of natural herbs and medicine. Give us a little bit of, of the foundation of Trevor says. Where Trevor says started from? Well, I was born in Mova Laventil. Yeah. I raised yeah. up in the forest. I was also the owner of 136 acres of land up in the hills where we have all yeah. the fruit trees from Mova to Santa Cruz, go back to Cascade. That's how the land spread. And I grew up there with my father. And a lot of elderly people, some of them still living. Some of them are 110 years and they're still living. As long as you get good water and you get natural treatment, like phytonutrients to build your body from the plants, you know, plants have a lot of chlorophyll in it. So it tends to keep you strong and also healthy. I was born in 1947, right? A long time now. My first child is 51 years. Well, what? Yeah. What? 51? You say, Trevor? So you could be a use a great great grandfather. Yeah, that great grandfather. Okay. I have about eight great grandchildren, right? Wow. Wow. And I know all the history of all the medication and different things. Like 40 years ago, it didn't have any diabetes medication that it has now. Mm. It didn't have any high blood pressure medication inside the um the drug stores, and then they used to sell pitch oil. And they were sell fensic and caffeinol and stuff like that. They would have go to get rat poison there and cockroach poison. They only know that they have um, a lot of different tin cures. And some of them is really being rediscovered from even my invention. But I don't get the patent mm -hmm. revalue for it. So right. I have a lot of things in the jokes. So I suppose you're making real money for it. How, how, many, how many times have, have people been to doctors for certain ailments and they and they just and they turn to you because nothing seems to be working in a couple of millions hmm. a couple of millions yeah <laughs> yeah people come by me all the time because they have a complaint they have a disease they have an infection within the body and people wouldn't come simply because they want mm -hmm. to come by Trevor's years come by mm -hmm. Trevor's years when you know things get out of hand like your yeah, last resort a last resort and that's what makes me better than, you know, a lot of other practitioners because I would have learned all the different secrets, you know. But well, you know, the men come all the time because they're impotent, you know. What causes a lot of that? You know? A hormonal change in the body. Some people tend to get angry too much. Men get angry too much. And the only time you're supposed to be angry is when you're having sex. <laughs> when you're having sex. Serious? <laughs> yeah, when, <laughs> like how we laughing now. Right? Yeah. You you can laugh and have sex. You get serious <laughs> and you put in all work. Right. Journaling. You only have to use up that when you're having sex. But if mm -hmm. you use up that in the day, you won't have none of it. Yeah. You, you can't even disturb the fur who moves inside of the body. And you, huh. it, it, it uses up a lot of the iodine. You need iodine. Get vexed when you're having sex. Get vexed when you're having sex. Get vexed when you're having sex. sex. <laughs> Yeah, you know, right. I'm you have a lot of men, they want to the drunk in the penis, drinking alcohol, and expect it to stand up. If you are, if you falling down, what do you expect? Anytime you're drinking plenty, you can never have an erection. You, you will know that too. Casual drink, every, ever so often. Ever so yeah, often. Drink water. Mm. All drinkers, they say so. Yeah. All so what is your cure? What is your cure to make the boy stand up? What is your cure? Mm. You bitter the blood. If the blood doesn't have too much of sugar in it, right? The body doesn't produce prostatic fluid to build up the bulk of the male ejaculation. So mm -hmm. definitely, you have to make sure that you keep the plasma of the blood not sweet. If the blood is too sweet, it clots. You won't get oh, circulation. And next thing, if too much of animal protein, if you're eating a chicken and that chicken doesn't have no sex, you wouldn't have no sex neither. A lot of the animals so, and so, them that they don't want to eat. Wait, 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 wait. Let me start the chicken having sex. No, well, the majority of chicken that they, they produce that doesn't mm. have no sex. Okay. So your body okay. develops that hormone. Get about 10 yard fowl and eat it when it, eat it for the month and you will see how you feel real horny. You want to jump on everything you see. As you eat some white fowl, you ain't getting nothing happening. 